What's up? It's your boy Sonny James here once again from our West Coast Serato studio in downtown Los Angeles. A few weeks back we unboxed the brand new Rev1 DJ controller, which is the latest entry level device from Serato and Pioneer DJ. It evolved from the ever so popular range of Pioneer controllers featuring the DDJ SB, SB2, and SB3. This one has a brand new layout though, so having said that, here are my top 5 tips on how to get down with the Rev1. Let's go! Number 1. New layout. So if you're familiar with the DDJ SB series of controllers, you're probably used to a particular layout. It traditionally had performance pads for cue points, etc., under each platter, vertical pitch sliders next to them, and your three software effects buttons above the platters. However, with the release of the Rev1, this layout has been dramatically changed to fit a style of DJing more aligned with the pro level turntable setup. For instance, the device now has its performance pads and added effects paddles in the center of the controller in addition to the pitch now being horizontal and above the platters. For context, the legend DJ Cash Money from Philly originally popularized turning each turntable one half a rotation for easier access when doing tricks for battling. Now this layout is widely known as battle style and the Rev1 is going to help establish the habits that many of us rely on in the club when using a pair of turntables and a DJM S7. Number two, scratch features. So as I said earlier, this is a device designed to help prepare you for transitioning from mixing in the crib to playing in the club on a professional setup. With that, learning different techniques for scratching may start to become of more and more importance, especially to new users. Now that you can access the fairly new scratch banks feature in both Serato DJ Pro and Serato DJ Lite, check it out. Rev1 also has a new innovation called Tracking Scratch Mode. The aim of this feature is to help make learning to scratch easy for everybody. Let me show you how it works. Number 3. Live Streaming. Nowadays, live streaming is here and it's here to stay. However, you don't always have to have a crazy elaborate setup like I tend to have in my crib. You can simply rock a set from your living room and have your vocals heard using the mic input. And don't forget to check the audio tab in Serato settings and allow the clean audio feed to become available in other applications like OBS or whatever broadcasting software you choose. Number four, three months free of Tidal Hi-Fi. If you haven't checked out the streaming integration Serato now has with Tidal, you definitely should. Frequently I find myself in situations where I might have taken a last minute gig and I don't have a song that was just released in the last day or two, or I hear a song for the first time on the radio on the way to the club and I add it immediately to my Tidal playlist on my phone. Once I plug in and load my Serato library, my Tidal library also loads with it, including any new songs that I've liked or added to my playlist along the way. For a limited time, when you connect the Rev1 to Serato DJ Pro or DJ Lite, you'll get a free code for three months of Tidal Hi-Fi. There are several Serato curated playlists available as well, featuring new flavors and a bunch of classic joints. So just go to Tidal.com slash Serato and get started. Number five, make beats with the DDJ Rev1. I love making music with certain pieces of DJ hardware like the DJM S9, or the Roland DJ808. As of now, the Rev1 is fully mapped for use with Serato Studio, so not only is this a powerful tool for playing music with Serato DJ, but now you can cook up original or remix ideas with it just as easily. Serato Studio is a free download on our site, so just visit serato.com studio and you're on your way to being in the game. So those are my top five things to adore about the small but very powerful Rev1 DJ controller brought to you by Serato and Pioneer DJ. This device is both lightweight and portable, but also packs all of the things that you'll need to both kill it on your kitchen counter or rock events at a real venue. 
I want to remind you to subscribe to our channels as we're frequently working to provide new content that's both entertaining and helpful to our DJ slash music community. My name is Mr. Sonny James and I'm part of the artist relations team here on the West Coast for Serato, again from our downtown Los Angeles studio, and I'll see you guys next time.